a great restaurant, great sushi, great seafood, great service, and a easy to park place. Lamosian Lao in Troy, Michigan. It's located at 1515 East Maple Road. It's on the corner of Stevenson, which is just west of I-75. If you're coming from the south, you're going to need to take mile marker, I believe it's 14 mile road, and then go west, take a right at the first light, and you'll go down maybe a mile, and you'll see it on the right-hand side past the next major intersection. And you can go ahead and pull in. They do have valet parking there most of the time. The parking's easy. Go on in. Make sure you have reservations. Um, some of the special things that I've liked, I've gone there for years. I've never been disappointed. I'm a big critic. So if you can't cook better than me and my friends, I'm not coming back. So to say that I've been eating there for over four years now is to be an understatement because I've been there a little bit longer. For this meal, uh, it was recommended that I try the ginger garlic eggplant. I've never had it before. This is my first time. It's thin, thinly sliced eggplant rolled with wood ears, pesto, pine nuts, red pepper, Vietnamese rice noodles topped with a mandarin sauce. Now, I read that straight off the menu. I've never had it. It doesn't taste like eggplant. It has a ton of flavors in this dish. It presents well, as you can see. It's the first photograph on this video, and I've never had it before. It's enough for two people. We both loved it. We will definitely be eating this again. This was a tremendous pick. Now, the place does get somewhat not loud and noisy, thanks to individuals who have to, have to speak and show themselves. So if you want a quiet place in the restaurant, ask them for the garden room. Um, that's what I call it. You'll see it here with the beautiful lighted round um, lighting containers. I usually eat there. This time I chose to eat in the main room. Uh, they do have a bar that you can sit at eat. I've done that once and it was actually um, comfortable and amazing. I don't normally like sitting at a bar, but you know, they we came in with no reservations. There was no availability. So we did eat at the bar and it was actually surprisingly good. It's a great place to entertain if you're having a birthday, as you'll see with the flare coming off of the birthday cake and everything. But now next to the next dish that we're going to talk about, uh, we chose to go with the Zin Roll Sushi. Okay, and the sushi that we went with uh, is a Zin Roll, like I said. It's got shrimp, uh, tempura, and cucumber rolled, topped with white tuna, uh, jalapeno, tempura crunch, and eel sauce. I just love it. This is a staple. If you if you love sushi and you love the crunchy, you love it a little bit spicy. As you can see, this presents extremely well. Um, they have the low salt uh, soy sauce, uh, so you'll be able to enjoy yourself. The next thing that we had was the fried rice soup. Now this is crunchy fried rice in a soup, very well flavored, not spicy. Love it. The flavor, the appeal, the look, the taste. Or if you ever get sick, this is better than chicken noodle soup. We have it almost every single time that we come in. Uh, it's a portion is enough for two people. Highly recommend it. The last thing that we chose to have was the seafood spicy upton noodle. Uh, this dish is enough for two people again, and it is tremendous. It has, it's got lobster, shrimp, scallops, tomatoes, onions, asparagus, satake mushrooms, Asian vegetables, with a spicy bean, black bean sauce. Now I read that straight off the menu also, but it is very good. Now this is something that we've had several times. It is enough for two people. Um, you're going to see in the video, um, a short videos of some of the food that we had, and then one of the birthday parties that was going on. They put this um, paper mache mask over the individual's head whose birthday it is, there's a flare coming off the cake. And it's just, it's just a wonderful time going to this place. Highly recommend it. You'll love it. And thank you for taking a view.